What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here and within this video I'm going to take you through a full workout using nothing but resistance bands to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. So by the end of this video you will have been taken through a full 25 minute workout, 6 exercises total using nothing but resistance bands to increase our vertical jump. And I have personally used these same 6 exercises to increase my own vertical jump to the point where I am dunking with two hands, throwing myself alley-oops, and everything of the sort. I also do want to say that if you do not have these resistance bands or the weightlifting belt that I'm using right now, you can go down to the link. I have put a link in the description. It will take you to Amazon, and you can purchase the bands and the belt for very cheap. Now, don't start working out yet. Let me explain very quickly. I'm going to explain how this video is going to be set up and then we will jump into the workout and you can follow along. So, this is a full workout. I have included every single set, every single rep, as well as all of the rest times that I do within this workout. So you can follow along with me and when, when I am working out, you should be working out. When I am resting, you should be resting. However, I do go very fast and this is an intense workout. So if you find that I am moving too fast for you and you are a little bit of a beginner or you know your lower back is sore, your hamstrings are sore, your legs are sore, definitely click the pause button and take a little bit longer of a rest. So I'm going to explain the exercises for the very first set of each exercise and then I'm going to play some music over the second and the third set so that we can just keep you going. All right, let's jump into the video and let's increase our vertical jump. So as you can see here, I'm taking a little bit of a rest. We will start the video as soon as I get up and I start going. So for yourself, definitely get your get your bands ready, get your belt ready, and get ready to go. Here we go. So as you can see in that little demonstration before, I attached the bands to these miniature dumbbell racks here, and I am placing them around the belt and then closing the belt. These are called band jumps. Now, if you do not have miniature dumbbell racks at your disposal, you can simply get two 80 to 100 pound dumbbells and attach your bands to the dumbbells. It works the same way. Just attach your bands to two things and make sure you can have enough room to jump. So what I am doing here are band jumps. You are going to do three sets of five, three sets of five of these band jumps. And then you are going to, after each time you do five reps, you're going to take the band and the belt off and you are going to do five normal reps, just like you see me doing here. So it's kind of like a superset. Five band jumps, and then five normal jumps without the band and without the belt. All right, we got two sets left. Let's jump into the action. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, just a very quick thing that I want you to understand. You should be 
jumping as high as you can. Absolutely as high as you can, as explosive as possible each time you do a rep. So for all five reps with the bands and with all five reps without the bands, you should be jumping as high as you can. All right, let's continue the video. Ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for the band jumps. What I'm going to do is throw my belt and one of the bands over to my bag, and I'm going to leave the other band attached to the miniature dumbbell rack. For you, leave it attached to the railing, leave it attached to the 80 to 100 pound dumbbell, whatever you have the band attached to, just leave one of them attached. This next exercise is called a band pull through. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull the band to where it's very tight, extend it all the way, walk forward. You're going to grab the band in between your legs and do hip thrusters. You're going to feel this in your lower back. You're going to feel this in your hamstrings, but your focus should be solely on your hamstrings and getting a nice stretch. Okay, you're, you are going to do this exercise for three sets of 15 reps. So that is the explanation. I'll let you guys get to it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so go ahead and take your band off of the dumbbell rack, take it off of the railing, take it off of the dumbbell that you are using. You want to place your band on the ground, which I'll do here in one moment after I recover a little bit. I'm sure your lower back is feeling it after that, maybe your hamstrings as well. What you're going to do is place the band on the ground, step on it, make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart, and then pull the band up over your head and place it on your upper back, as you see right here, after I stumble. Okay, I'll do it this next time. Shoulder width apart for your feet, pull the band up over your head, place it on your upper back. And I'll give you a front view here in a second so that you can see what it looks like. All right, right there. So what you're gonna do is a superset of band good mornings and band squats. You are going to feel this in your lower back and your hamstrings. Keep all of your focus on your hamstrings as you do this. You will do this for 15 reps, three sets. Let's get to it.
right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for the banded good mornings superset with the band squats. You should definitely be feeling it in your lower back as well as your hamstrings. Where I went is to get a dumbbell. So definitely go ahead and get yourself a dumbbell. I'm going to get a 50 pound dumbbell. I suggest that you get a 20 to 30 pound dumbbell. The 50 pound dumbbell was a little bit too heavy for me. So you might want to go lower. But I'll come back here in a second. Make sure you get a good rest. What we are going to do next are kettlebell, banded kettlebell swings. So we are going to put the band on exactly like we had it for the band good mornings and the band squats. But we are going to do kettlebell swings. Well, we're going to be using a dumbbell. So I guess we can call them dumbbell swings. So here I come with my dumbbell. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to get my band on. Same way. Feet shoulder width apart. And pull the band up over your head and place it on your upper back. Once you do that, go ahead and grab your dumbbell. And you are going to do three sets, five reps. Make sure these are explosive. Make sure these are explosive. All right, so it doesn't look like I am too explosive there, but I promise you I am. So five sets, three sets, five reps each explosive dumbbell swings. Let's jump into the action. Ladies and gentlemen, so if I can remember correctly, my lower back was on fire at this point. So you are probably feeling the same way. Your lower back is probably on fire. That is a good thing because one way that we increase our vertical jump is to increase the strength of our core. And your core is not only your abs, your core is your obliques and your lower back as well. So this exercise is doing wonders for increasing your core strength and your lower back strength. So this next exercise is the very last exercise. As I pause here for a second because I am practically exhausted, like you should be as well if you're going hard. 
what we are going to do are monster walks. So you're gonna take your band and you're gonna fold your band in half. Just loop it around so it's a double loop. You're going to put your band around the outside part of your ankles. So just put it around your ankles and then you're gonna stand up and we are going to do monster walks. You're just going to do, um, we'll say about, I'm not sure how many steps I did. I just went down and back in this room for three sets. So it was probably around 10 steps down and 10 steps back. But as you can see, you squat down, you make sure your feet are pushing out, push out with your feet and squat down more than I am squatting down. I, I can look at myself right now and I am not squatting down enough. So definitely squat down more than I am and increase your vertical jump higher than me because I'm not doing this exercise correctly. But all right, let's jump into the action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for this workout. This has been Nathaniel Morton with a full workout using nothing but resistance bands to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. So now at the end of this video, you should be exhausted. Your lower back and your legs should be on fire. And by the time that you rebuild your legs, you will be able to jump a little bit higher. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you get notified for when I post new videos. Make sure you share this if you know somebody else who wants to increase their vertical jump like this. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and definitely take action. Always remember that knowledge is not power. It is only potential power unless you take action on what you know. Action is everything. I'll see you guys next time.